We're gonna go from 5K all the way up to 25K. You can't actually walk in and get this Tudor. Really don't think you're gonna get a better watch for the money. Possibly the most popular GMT. Yeah. This watch you can only physically buy from Harrods. The new design on the bracelet is just really smart. Rolex isn't for everyone. I mean, this is just a classic iconic wrist watch. Probably the best everyday watch money can buy within that budget. I know you can get this with the chronograph dials and whatnot. Exactly, yeah. But I, I actually like it like this. Pretty much no one would want one. You'd probably get discount if you actually did buy one. Cool, so here I am, deal maker to my right. Market conditions in the, the watch market's changed quite a lot over the last 12 months. Yeah. We thought it would be a good exercise to have a look at some price points. We're gonna go from 5K all the way up to 25K. And yeah, let us know what you think of our picks. So Josh, I'll let you go first. Yes. Yeah, so starting with the 5K budget, I have gone for the Tudor Pelagos. Full tied in case, bracelet, black bezel, black dial, but it's also got the hints of the red, almost like the Sea Dweller red right in. And this is a 39mm watch, which I think fits a lot better than some of the chunkier watches Tudor do produce. What I like about that is it's got the T-fit clasp, so yeah. it's got the clasp adjustment, a bit like a Submariner. Similar to a Rolex Submariner and some of the newer model on the Isoflex, so it's fully adjustable. I think it's about a link. Yeah, it's, size it's not link. quite as much as a glide lock, but it also has the divers extension as well, so if yeah, you undo exactly. the clasp, you can push down on the bracelet on that part and it'll actually pop the full divers extension out as well there so it's a good looking watch but it's a functional watch exactly. as well exactly and this is coming in at under 5k this is actually coming in at 4250 right so, so really it's right close in and around retail price you can't actually walk in and get this Tudor as with some of them you can do whereas mm -hmm. this is a little bit rarer and harder to get well my pick for the 5k budget is actually a super iconic watch from Amiga this is the Speedmaster this is the Hesalite version so it's the acrylic crystal and it has the closed case back. What I really like about the latest generation of the Speedmaster is, I mean, it's a great looking watch, super iconic. The new design on the bracelet is just really smart. It reminds us a bit of a... Of a day that... Yeah, President like a president track. bracelet, yeah. isn't it? It's got a nice taper to it, and I think it just wears very nicely on the wrist. This watch as well looks great on all kinds of straps, leather, NATO, rubber, whatever you want. Super versatile watch, and it's an iconic timepiece, so I think you can't really go wrong. On the tag here, it says £6,000, so you can pick this up Under for less price. money unworn very example good buy. very good buy right we actually have a curveball in this category yeah. as well the curveball for five thousand, which was a very hard choice between the two i've went for the tudor black bay this one being the harrods edition ever since it's released i've been seeing it come in and out of our store buying and selling and i really love it i love the bezel it reminds me obviously of the kermit Just why do they call it the harrods edition what is this watch you can only physically buy from harrods um, well it's the harrods brand color yeah, isn't exactly. it so, it, it, so it's nice i think that's 41 millimeter as opposed and to the 39 as on well. the back they are all actually numbered right i see so it's in individually yeah. numbered so this one being well i'm not going to say the code but <laughs> this one being specifically numbered on the back of the case yeah i think it's a great watch so that's at my curveball for five thousand. well i'll jump into the next category which is up to ten thousand so i've actually got a previous generation this is the 16610 rolex submariner date i mean this is just a classic iconic wristwatch you can pick this one up for around eight thousand this has a aluminium bezel as opposed to the latest models which all have ceramic bezels but a lot of people like this this generation of Submariner it's smaller in just about every dimension case wise so therefore it, they wear really well on a lot of people I mean the new ones do as well but there's a, a group of people and watch enthusiasts who kind of really like this style this generation of Submariner so that would be my pick for the £10,000 mark can't go wrong with a Submariner 10k budget, that's my pick. This is a date, just 41 mil. This one being the Wimbledon dial, so the slate grey dial with the green Roman numeral. This particular model being the 126300, as I said, with a smooth bezel, oyster strap, very sporty, but also you can wear it up, dress it down. It's, it's very versatile watch and probably the best everyday watch money can buy within that budget. This one being at the top end, this is on for 9950, so it's just within budget, but can pick obviously a blue dial, white dial, black dial, grey dial. Obviously the Wimbledon carries the biggest premium that's just based on supply and demand and obviously it's harder to get from the main dealer.
All right, next up, we've got the 15K category. I've chose, I watched this bang on 15K. This is the GMT Master 2 with the black and blue bezel. This is known as the Bat Girl on the Jubilee bracelet. It's an all steel watch. This is the latest, I think it's a 126710 yeah. BLNR. Yeah, yeah. Super popular GMT. This yeah. is possibly the most popular GMT. Yeah. It's the most in demand watch that we probably sell on a daily basis. But for the 15K budget, you're going to either get a Jubilee Bat Girl or you're obviously going to get the to Batman, whether that's the discontinued model or the newer model like this one. Yeah, no, great watch. So what have you picked out for the 15K? So 15K, I've actually picked out something a little bit different. So this is a steel and rose gold Yachtmaster 40. This is the new reference 126621. This one obviously being rose gold and steel and this one having the chocolate dial. I did actually own one with the black and slate gray dial, but for the top end of the budget, I would much prefer obviously the chocolate. The slate dial, sorry, so yeah, a little bit so, cheaper because I know it's like a matte texture as yeah, well. Yeah, so we it? can pop up a picture and compare the two. So this is almost like a sunburst chocolate brown dial, mm -hmm. whereas the other variant is obviously the slate gray. It's almost, it is meant to be a black dial, but it's almost like a slate gray dial. So this is coming in around 500 to 750 less, obviously age dependent, but this is actually coming in under 15K and this is 13,950. I don't think you're going to get a uh, more watch for the money watch as such. Saying that though, we yeah. have picked out another watch which you might think that's is true. more for yeah. the money so we'll, we'll get that out and let see us know what, what you think let us in, know. in the comments below so my curveball to the 15k budget would be this it is a 116523 I want to say you might have to correct me in the comments this is a 2004 model steel and gold Daytona bimetal steel and yellow gold with the champagne face you just wouldn't think Daytona yeah, for that kind of money exactly so a lot of you were probably thinking how can I get a Daytona for sub 20k well, this is how, so this is a steel and gold, slightly older piece. This one's seen better days, but mm -hmm. it's still pretty much a good condition watch for yeah, its that's age. Why, that's why it's it's, yeah. it's close to 14 grand, is Exactly, it? yeah. So this is coming in at 14,000 pounds. This is with box and papers also. Mm -hmm. Not massively overly polished. Obviously, you've got the older clasp with this watch as opposed to the 116503, but... So if you've got a modern a version, like if you've got a, say, 2021 steel and yeah. gold with champagne face, how much are you looking so at So you're there? looking at minimum 17 to 18,000. Right. Maybe it's even more. It's just also dial dependent, but I think for the money, these two watches are probably my pick for 15K. Yeah. You won't get better than that. And I've just realized we actually, we picked out a 10K curveball and we've skipped over. So, yeah, so if we just back up to yeah. that. We'll go back to the 10K curveball. So this is a Cartier Santos large model. This one being with the blue dial. Now this is actually closer to 5K than yes. it is 10K. So, so this is actually 6250. Mm -hmm. I think list price is now 6,500, I want to say, if I'm not mistaken. Something around that mark, but I don't think there's also obviously a better watch for under 10K than this. And especially, it's not Rolex. Yeah. Rolex isn't for everyone, obviously. I think it's one of the nicest there. bracelets on a, on a steel bracelet watch, exactly. you know? And I love the way that you can remove the links without a tool. Yeah, exactly. It's just really useful and it looks great on straps as well. You can put rubber, leather. Yeah, exactly. You this, know. this one actually comes with the blue leather strap. Not sure if you can see, but the buttons, it's almost like a button feel. Yeah, it's like on the back of every link, there's a little pusher that you yeah. can push and it pops the pin out, but it doesn't fall out. So you never lose it and you can just adjust the, the strap yourself. All right, well, so. I'll jump into my 20K pick because it's a different brand again. This is an Audemars Piguet watch. This is a Royal Oak Offshore Diver. Uh, and I really like this watch because it's a three-hander. So it's just time and date. Yeah, I think it's... It's a really smart and clean looking watch. I know you can get this with the chronograph dials and whatnot. Exactly, yeah. But I, I actually like it like this. I think it allows the overall design of the watch to, to speak and for itself. And the dial pops massively on the, the divers because as he, as Harry said, it's obviously only got the time and the day on. So well, I mean, it does have that a really nice texture. I think they yeah. call it a tapisserie dial. And on the offshores, it's it's enlarged as opposed to the, the Royal Oak sports models with the bracelets. So yeah, it's just a really smart looking watch. And this is, you can pick this up for 20K. So exactly it's, a, it, it's, it's a very around, good or if not a little bit under retail, I want to say. I'm not really sure I how much these the are. I think the retail is around low 20s to mid 20s. So right. you're getting a very good watch for the money. We'll have to check that, but yeah. yeah don't, quote, don't quote us on the prices. <laughs> what about you for 20? So for 20K, I've gone for Rolex around a Hulk. This one, obviously, discontinued 11610 LV. Very iconic watch. Obviously, it took over from the, the original Kermit, the 16610 LV. And ever since, it's been massively popular. Obviously, since it's discontinued, it's shot up in price. They shot up nearly to Well, when, the, when it first came out, nobody wanted these. Yeah, exactly. So when but this first came out, they were retailing, what, like 5K? Five, something. Five and a half thousand. Yeah. Pretty much no one would want one. You'd probably get discount if you actually did buy one. Yeah, I mean, it, I bet you it would have been like for every 20 Submariners sold, it would be one 
one green and 19 black. Exactly. But then obviously social media becomes a thing and obviously influencers as a whole becomes a thing and you see more people wearing it. Obviously people want to be a little bit different as well. They don't just want to go for the stainless steel and black. Mm -hmm. You go very loud and go for the green bezel, green dial. But ever since obviously discontinued shop and price, it did actually touch nearly $30,000. So like mid twenties at one point at its probably peak. And then now they're sitting around anywhere from 18 to 20,000, depending on the age. Um, this one is actually 18,000. This is a 2016. So it's the same model as in 19, but it's just yeah. a little bit less because of the age, that's all. I think it still holds its own. I mean, it's a different watch in its own right than the Starbucks uh, with that green dial. Yeah, I would always go with Hulk though. Well, I've got a curveball in this category and you can actually pick up a full gold sports Rolex watch. I mean, this is an older model. Yeah. This one actually still has the service stickers on. So it's come back from a service and a polish at Rolex and hasn't been worn since. But this is a Yachtmaster. I don't know the reference of it's this. It's a 16628. This one is a 2004 model. And I really don't think you're going to get a better watch for the money. You get a full yellow gold piece, solid gold, 18 carat. Certainly going to look it's the part on the wrist. Exactly, yeah. So if you compare it to something like this, obviously my pick was a stainless steel watch. What would you pick? Would you pick a stainless steel watch or would you pick a full gold? It totally depends watch. on the circumstance, but As, there might be certain places you could wear yeah, this and get away with it. Yeah, and also, I think it depends on your age a little bit. Exactly, like, yeah. You know, if you're a younger, I mean, if you're a younger gentleman or lady, maybe this doesn't look quite right if you're wearing it on. It totally depends. Obviously, yeah. you can wear it at any age, but you know what I mean. And then the dial on this, it actually, the markers, are, are they like black onyx or something yeah, like that? Yeah, so it's, you'll be able cool. to get a better close up, but yeah, like black onyx, they're, they're almost like a texture. I think they're there. a gemstone of some yeah. sort. You'll see that on the close up, but it's a really cool dial. Obviously, it's the flat white. Um, and there's actually the little markers. triangles, like raised triangles next to each indice, which you can only see if you kind of catch yeah, them in the light. The light but yeah, yeah really, it's a really cool, cool watch. watch. Value for money, you're getting full yellow gold watch what, Rolex to, for that money. To crazy. get, I mean, do they, they don't even make one like this no, now so they don't make this so what would the equivalent in the modern rolex catalog be as a model this would be the only comparison because the steel and rose yacht master but mm -hmm. as a, a gold watch the the cheapest yellow gold watch you, you can maybe get a day day uh, 36 that right, would also yeah. be a good option if you were yeah. going to go gold you can only get that in a 36 if you're looking at that kind of budget mm -hmm. day day 40 is going to cost you thirty thousand onwards yeah so my twenty five thousand pound budget watch would be this so this is the 116500LN ceramic Daytona black dial. Daytona speaks for itself, obviously, as a model as a whole. I think Rolex-wise, it's the best model that you could ever put your money into. Mm -hmm. As of recent years and over the years as a whole, it's always steadily increased and held its value. This one specifically being one that was massively inflated at one point i could mm -hmm. probably say 10 to 12 months ago it was 30 to mid thirty five thousand pound so that uh, was range. like three times the rrp yes exactly so now the retail prices i think is around just under 12 uh, is it like no it's, it's over half. i think it's about 12 and a half yeah so 12 and a half k now you're going to pick this up for twenty five thousand exactly this one being an unworn model so as i say it's a massive saving on what it used to be around 10 to 12 months ago since this has it corrected in price but i don't think you're going to get a better everyday watch again within that budget mm -hmm. and one that so sort of sits on the so nicely, I must say as well. So that's why I think it's very versatile, very daily wearable. That's what I would go for. So the 25K watch that I've picked out is another sports model from, from Rolex. And this is the Yachtmaster 40 in Everose. It's on the Oyster Flex strap. It's a full gold watch, but it's actually not as loud as you think because it's got the black ceramic bezel. It's got a black face, which is matte. And then obviously you've got the Oyster Flex strap, which is rubber, but it's a very, very high quality strap. So very comfortable to wear. It still has a really good weight though, so you'll you'll feel the presence on your wrist and it's just a great looking watch. And you can pick this up for around 25, I believe, is that yeah, right? 25, you can obviously get an older model. This model came out in 2015, I wanna say, slash mm -hmm. 2016, so obviously you're looking at lower 20s, but if you do want a newer model, it's gonna be at the top end of the budget, which is tw around 25K. Again, mm -hmm. a watch that was 30,000, Yeah, probably about 11 months ago. So. Yeah. Definitely, Again, so the, the value now, and that was because the rose gold Daytonas were so exactly, yeah. highly priced that relative to them, this the was price the of this crept thing. up because yeah, exactly. people were going to this, weren't they? So, yeah. And then <laughs> the final curveball. Yeah. I'll let you explain a little bit about this one, Josh, but yeah. this is a previous generation all gold Submariner. 
Yeah, so again, we're going yellow gold, full yellow gold. This one obviously being the 25K. This is a 16618 LB, full yellow gold, blue sunburst dial, blue bezel. They call it like obviously the blue kit. This one's actually unpolished. So it has got signs of wear, but I think the next person would appreciate that. It's obviously yeah, never been I mean, polished. Whoever buys it, they could choose to polish yeah, it so or we, have it polished. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. If, if you do decide to buy this watch, we can get it polished for you professionally. So that is our picks for 5 yeah. to 25K. Yeah, let us know in the comments what you would choose, what you think of the, the watches that we've picked out. <laughs> Anything that you know about them that we don't, would love to hear. And if you'd like to purchase any of them, Josh is your man. Give, a, give the store a call. And I'm sure you'll be able to sort you out a good deal. Yeah, exactly. The link will be in the description or yeah. it'll be on the screen, uh, our website. So all of these watches that you've seen, as mentioned in this video, are available. This is what I'd go for. <laughs> <laughs> all right then, sweet. Cool. Thanks a lot.